Nice. We are so glad that you are here with us still at 530. I'm Eric Lassery for Josh tonight. And I'm Courtney Robinson. Starting us off first here at 530. Again, it was the case that did rock the Tampa Bay region. Exactly four years ago, two-year-old Jordan Bellevue was found dead. His mother initially lied to investigators about what happened. Cherise Stinson eventually came clean when they found his body in the woods in a park in Largo. In 2020, she pleaded guilty to killing her son and lying to police, getting a 50-year prison sentence. And what's known as Jordan's Law went into effect. It's aimed at protecting children in Florida's welfare system. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Liz Crawford looks at whether children are safer today than they were when Jordan Bellevue was killed. Four years ago, Sam and Juliet Warren faced an unimaginable nightmare. We love Jordan deeply. For the majority of two-year-old Jordan Beliveau's life, this is who he knew as mom and dad. They were hoping to adopt him, but months before his death, he was reunited with his biological mom. We are devastated by his loss, but for a court order, he would still be safe in our home. Beliveau was found dead in September of 2018. The autopsy said he died of head trauma. Two years later, his biological mom pled guilty to his murder and lying to police. She was sentenced to 50 years in prison. Jordan Beliveau's death was tragic and unnecessary. In 2020, Jordan's law took effect. What the bill does is it brings in more caseworkers uh, to help alleviate uh, the number of cases that each caseworker deals with. That was easier said than done. The one thing that we were unable to do in the system, and it was exacerbated when the COVID uh, hit, was the caseloads. Jordan's law aimed at reducing caseloads from 30 children to 15. Particularly in the Tampa Bay area, uh, caseloads were more in the range of 40 and 50 cases because we couldn't fill our positions. We're not there yet. But the 2021 legislative budget changed everything. What they did last year was transformative. Uh, they put $200 million into the system. Funding allows agencies to hire and retain quality case managers. Advocates say the next step is building relationships with the children and bringing the resources to them. We used to treat children like potted plants, just move them from here to there based on what was convenient for us. Liz Crawford, 10 Tampa Bay.